At Streams, we're constantly being asked about different dream elements and what they might mean in a dream. How about birds? You, you ever seen a bird in a dream? Now, there's all kinds of different birds, but let's get some basic things about a bird. Birds usually fly. Birds usually have wings. And, and so they'll often talk about some type of a spiritual being because they're moving through the air, the spirit, and they're having wings. And most spiritual beings are, are pictured as having wings. You see the angels flying, etc. Now, not always, but often. And this helps us to understand the parable where Jesus talks about the good soil, the, the mustard seed, excuse me, the mustard seed that grows up into a large plant and the birds of the air come and they, it stays in its branches. And this is a very positive thing. So it can talk about angelic activity, but it can also talk about fallen angelic activity, demonic activity, because in that same chapter, Matthew chapter 13, Jesus also talks about four different soils. And one of the soils where the seed falls alongside the road path, it says that the birds come and steal the seed. And the birds, Jesus says, are the enemy. And so what kind of bird is it? The Holy Spirit is represented as a dove. So a dove can represent Holy Spirit. So clearly some birds can be very positive spiritual beings. But if you're seeing a crow or a raven, those can talk about a spirit of death. They, they could be talking about a negative thing. I had an encounter one time where Holy Spirit came to me as a huge owl, like eight foot tall. This thing was huge and, and invited me to get up on his back. And he took me for a ride. And as we flew, began to show me things that were going to be happening in my future. And all of those things ha have already happened in the season that they were in. And so it was talking about wisdom. So different birds can mean different things. What kind of a bird is it? What is the bird doing? So things that are carrion type birds are often going to be the negative type of a bird. That, that's going to represent demonic activity. But, but the ones that are not carrion are more likely to represent angelic activity. What about eagles? Now, thinking about eagles. In scripture, the Bible uses the metaphor of eagles to talk about kings in government, talking about the king of Assyria and the king of Babylon. I believe, I can't remember if it's Jeremiah or Isaiah, but he uses the picture of an eagle as representing the king of Assyria and the king of Babylon, both being represented as eagles because they're huge. They're able to see from a long distance and they're, be, they're able to affect things that are a long distance away from them. But the other thing about an eagle is that an eagle has extremely good eyesight. So the eagle can also represent a prophetic gift because they're able to fly in the heavenlies and they'll be able to see clearly things from a distance and, and to deal with those issues very quickly from that place. What about hawks? Now, hawks are, are often, they're very similar to eagles as far as their ability to fly, their ability to hunt, and their ability to see. But hawks can be trained a lot easier than eagles can, and they're trained to hunt. Often, hawks will represent prophetic intercessors, those that have a prophetic gift that, that have been assigned to someone where they're able to go off and see things in the heavenlies, but then they come back and they report what it was that they saw, or they bring back what it is that they received from what they saw. And so there's this prophetic intercessory gift. So what's going on with the bird? What type of bird is it? How is it affecting the environment? But if you just happen to be walking through the woods and you're hearing birds singing and, and flitting and flying, but you're walking through the path, maybe they don't have meaning at all. It's just that you're at a place where there's life and there's freedom. So you got to take a look at what they're doing in the dream to decide what meaning they might have. So is it some type of a spiritual being, angel, demon? Is it some type of a prophetic calling? Is it talking about some type of rulership or, or kingly anointing? Or if it's a bald eagle and you live in the United States, maybe it's actually representing the United States of America, which is a symbol for this country.
So all of these things are possibilities. Birds, that's another interesting dream element.